What's up, YouTubers? We've got the Solar Plane V3 here on this beautiful morning. And if you remember the last Solar Plane episode, I determined after doing some testing that a five cell might be more effective than a six cell because it'll uh, adjust the voltages between the battery and the solar cells and make it charge more efficiently. So today I've got a five cell LiPo in the plane and I'm gonna do a test flight and see if it, uh, see if it harnesses more of the sun's energy to the point where it'll hopefully be able to sustain flight. So the conclusion I drew from the last test I did in the previous solar plane video was that a six cell battery voltage was too high to create an efficient voltage difference between the solar cells and the battery. So as a result, the solar cells were only providing a fraction of the power they were capable of. The solar cells were producing 23.5 volts, while a fully charged 6 cell is 25.2 volts. So you can see the issue there. My ground tests indicated that a 5 cell creates a much more efficient voltage difference and therefore more power is pulled out of the solar cells by the battery and the motor. So for this test flight, I set the throttle to draw about 3 amps, which is roughly the current needed to maintain altitude. Back when I was using a 6 cell, the cruise throttle was only 2.3 amps, but now with the 5 cell we have a lower voltage so the current goes up a bit. Anyways, after cruising back and forth for about 35 minutes, the battery voltage dropped from 20.2 to 19.3, so it lost roughly 1 volt. The sun wasn't directly overhead because this test was done at 10.30 in the morning, but that's irrelevant to me because I think if a solar plane works like a solar plane should, then it should be able to fly at 10 in the morning no problem. That's the goal at least. I also gained 300 feet of altitude during that 35 minute time period, but I feel like that should be considered irrelevant to the 1 volt drop in the battery. You see? I don't like it, it's too high. Ain't that something? That's just like me being in an airplane. After that first testing segment, I did some return to home tests, which made my current draw go unnecessarily high, so I can't count that as part of the flight for solar testing. During the next test segment, the battery dropped 0.2 volts over the course of 10 minutes, while the plane gained almost 900 feet of altitude, which is a lot better than the first 35 minute test segment. So this shows it was operating more efficiently than before. Why is this? Probably because the voltage difference between the battery and the solar cells grew as the battery voltage dropped, so more power was being pulled from the solar cells. After this test segment, I bobbed up and down at full throttle for a while to reduce the battery voltage even more to see if it would help for the next test. I started the third test segment at 17.4 volts and flew for 7 minutes. During this time, the battery dropped 1.2 volts, which is a lot, so I think the system is less efficient with the voltage that low. So at no point during this flight were the solar cells giving enough power to keep the plane up completely on their own with no help from the battery. However, I think there might be a sweet spot in the voltage that I passed over while draining power from the battery on purpose. So I'll do another test flight to see how long this plane will actually fly for. Then if it sustains flight, great. If not, I'll get an MPPT charge controller. Perfect. So a lot of people suggested starting a Patreon account to fund this project because it is pretty expensive uh, to create these wings and this uh, center fuselage because it's all carbon fiber and the solar cells are pretty expensive and the charge controller that I might need, the MPPT charge controller will be about 200 bucks. So I uh, took their recommendations and I started a Patreon account. So if any of you are interested in supporting this project, um, you can go ahead. There's a link in the description. I'd really appreciate that. But anyways, that's all for today's test. Thanks for watching. Bye.